Welcome back, everybody, to episode number 22 up, of the Off the Field Podcast. Let's hop right into it with Around the Horn, Let's our do it. sports news topic of the week. But before we hit the sports, we well, have 4,000 <laughs> subs here on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the endless support from family members, friends, and pretty much anybody who tunes in. I mean, we upload the podcast on Spotify on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Tell them when we upload on YouTube. 2 p.m. on Fridays. That's and right. we just hit... 3,000 last week. We were thanking them for 3K just a week ago. And that's insane. It's blowing by us real quick, bro. I'm excited. Something that is happening this week. It is the start of my birthday week. Ooh, how old are you turning? Turning 27. Oh. June 21st. You're old now, bro. I got this. Nah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> 26, bro. You're old as shit. No, I, no coming back anymore. <laughs> no coming back. Down I, no uh, we celebrated early because it's kind of hard to throw an entire party at... The stadium. I'm having my birthday at an Angels Dodger game. Hell yeah! How awesome that that landed on my birthday, dude. That was magical. So we got a big group going, and we're gonna throw a party, but we you know can't like bring a cake and flyers and everything. Just throw the cake so, on the field. So got some <laughs> gifts yesterday. This Japan Otani jersey that was from my brother and my family. Jealous. That was so sweet, and um, I hope. I don't have to wear this all of next year because Otani leaves. He's going to stay. He's going to stay. We already know he's going to stay. Why is everybody making all this false as accusations? <laughs> it's not real. He's staying here in Anaheim. And not only this jersey. Hope. Mama went ham with the jerseys. Oh. So I'm going to Savannah Bananas game in a month. <sighs> she she made a custom <sighs> Bananas jersey. Get Look at out. This. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. It's got, the, so good. got the, the me on the patch. Yeah, <laughs> and then she did 27 for turning 27. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's so awesome. And then there's one specifically made for this, the pod. We got the off the field green right no. here. Got Spidey on the front, my oh, name in softball. tough. We got the off the field patch right here, our logo for the podcast yeah. on the sleeve right there. And 33, my favorite number. And then one more. This was an Amazon gift from Grandma. Okay. So this one, I'm going to have to uh, abuse it for the next half a season. Because if Otani leaves, Why? it's going to look oh. a little weird wearing it around. So it says, Otani, in Angel's font. Oh, it's open, isn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It no, says good, Otani in Angel's font. Oh. And then it has Otani in Japanese on the back. I'm never taking that off. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm sleeping in that. I'm showering in that. So just for that reason, Shohei Otani, you're not allowed to leave. No. Just because of that. Look at me right now. Look at me right now. te vas a ir? vas a quedar aquí? Want to translate? Uh, hey, Shohei. You're awesome. <laughs> Keep killing it. Birthday week. The Dodgers just got swept by the Giants. <laughs> One of those games was brutal. Tell him. Tell him. What was the score? 15 to 0. Ow! An art. Hurt who was supposed to go with me and a couple other friends to this independent wrestling event, backed out to go to that game. Pretty sure he felt pretty dumb when they were down 11-0 to on like the third inning. <laughs> but oh obviously we love to make fun of the Dodgers because we're Angels fans. But there's another team out there. Hmm. The Astros Woo! got swept by the Reds. <laughs> That's a trash can, baby. And we'd love to see that because that boosts us in oh, the yeah. division. Hmm. And uh, Breaking news for the Reds, Joey Votto, after coming back from a rotator cup injury, hit a home run in his second at bat. Absolute daddy. You just Love it. sent that. Love it. He is Cincinnati. He is the actual city of yeah. Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah. Journey for history continues for Elisa Reyes. He had the another five-hit day today, and he is back up to 400. Awesome. What was, was he like? No, he wasn't like at 398. He dropped he? down to like 378. Get out. And then he went back up to 400, baby. Well, you told me, didn't he go five for five? He's done it three times this month. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no one's touching him. And Luis, that, keep killing it. And now that we've gone around the horn, you can clearly see Mobo is going to have a guest right there. Right here. He's, he's a, waiting. He's waiting. He's a good friend of mine. I'm going to need the Dos Equis man to move on over because this yeah. man is the most interesting man in the world to me. He always okay. talks about giving the guest on his show, Throwing Heat, their flowers. And today, we're giving him his it is Tony Todd, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony T, baby. Oh, up, How you doing? Let's go. Back, Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank right you, on, right on. Thank you. Birthday, 27, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, I got resentments older than that. What'd you, do, what'd you do at 27, Tony? Here you 27? Go. Yeah. Well, what 27? were you doing? That's so long ago, man. Nah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I did the movie Little Big League at 27, I think. She. No, I, I think so. Really? Yeah, I, I, oh, I think. Maybe, maybe, no. 
Or I was working for the city of Santa Monica. <laughs> One or two. Here's how I want to get things started. Yes. How we got started, how we met, was last year at the 2022 All-Star Week. And I want to break down both of our days. Obviously, we had a meeting point at the MLB draft, but there was a whole day that took place before that for both of us. So, my side of the story, I went to the MLB All-Star House, filmed a bunch of content there for people, Sweet. and I was like, you know, we have time to make it to the MLB draft. I go to the MLB draft. I get separated from my group, which I guess was a blessing in disguise. Was it a big group or was it small? I got separated from Gabe, uh, Trevor Fanstrom, Stephen Kinez. Oh, literally everybody. So everybody. I was, everybody, everybody. I was the only one. Because they had a capacity limit. So right they on. all went in, got sat to the right. And I was like, what the? And I'm like the first person that's allowed to go in next. So I finally get to go in. I get sat to the left. And I'm like, oh, my guys are over there. Little do I know, Tony Todd is sitting behind me, like a row and three seats over. And who are you watching, Tony? I was watching. It was one of the most amazing things ever. You know, I've never experienced anything, anything mm. like this. Because yeah. I was invited to the draft by a friend of mine. Oh, hold on, let me pick that name up. Uh, Harold Reynolds. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Harold. Mm. So, but, but along with, you know, I was not babysitting because he had credentials. His son, yeah. Andrew, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Andrew. Andrew Reynolds. And I was yeah. like, oh, so we're sitting right next to each other. And I probably would say about 15 minutes into the draft, 10 minutes into the draft. Mm-hmm. I, I look over, I see Andrew. He, I mean, he's sweating like Mike Tyson taking a <laughs> SAT test. I was just like, man, I, Andrew, what's wrong? What's wrong, Andrew? He's like, it's him, it's him. I'm like, it's who? <laughs> where does where Hank Heron come from or Willie Mays? Or, who are you talking about? He kept saying, it's him. And I was just like, it's who? <laughs> and, you know, I respect people. I, I don't curse. Mm-hmm. So, well, especially not on camera. But mm-hmm. I said to him, who are you talking about? He's right there. Who's right there? He has to have a name, Andrew. Yeah. Who's right there? Oh, it's my favorite YouTuber. It's my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> YouTuber? I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what YouTubers. I just thought, yeah, yeah. Sh- oh, YouTube. I mean, the channel. Yeah, yeah. I don't follow any YouTubers. Yeah. He said he's right there. I was like, he's right where, Andrew? He's right there. Well, talk to him. Oh, I, can't, I can't talk to him. I, can't. I said, hold up. I'll get him for you. Excuse me, sir. I think I called you by your name. Um, Austin. Austin. <laughs> I mean, but no, you have so many different names. Austin, Spidey, you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Luther. Right? Who knows? <laughs> so I said, hey, my friend here, he's a big fan of yours. Yeah. I said, he's a big fan. And, oh, man. And, and it's kind of cool to have that effect on someone like mm-hmm. you did. Yeah. And, you know, because I'm the same way. I love to give back and give back to kids and just make everyone happy. I love to see people happy every uh-huh. day, you know. And we connected, and next thing you know, I mean, we all became like best friends. We yeah. even got Harold involved. Yeah. After after the draft was over, well, I think we were sitting at a table behind the draft. We were in like the green room, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're, yeah. we're in a green room, yeah. and we're just all seeing stars pass by left oh, and right. Oh yeah, Eric oh, Davis yeah. is right over yeah. there. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, Eric Davis is there, and just every draft pick sitting there. So yeah. we end up sitting down. And we just all of a sudden, like, hey, might as well document this. Yeah. And document the, 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 the night. Mm-hmm. It, it was cool. And Harold was on tape and, you know, everyone. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Andrew was. I remember you were, kid. you couldn't believe that I did YouTube for a job. Yeah, I was I like, mean, wait. Was the concept just so foreign to you? Yeah, he's getting paid. I was just like, <laughs> he's getting paid. I said, wait a second. All these contacts I have, I should do that, right? Yeah. And I was yeah. just like. That's actually, actually kind of cool. I was flabbergasted to know that people, mm. they're paying people for content. Yeah. I, I should be a billionaire. So you what, should what, see like huh? anything ASMR, just the laziest content. Yeah. Like no, it gets Seriously, there's some lazy content. <laughs> I was so, you know, but I'm not a hater. Yeah. yeah. I love everyone who's doing well and doing things legally and making mm. money from it. And, you know, I, I totally respected you for that. Thank you. And for treating Andrew the way that you did and everyone else around you. Mm-hmm. So that that, that was kind of cool. What was your day leading up to that before we met at the MLB draft? My day leading up to it? Yeah. Uh, basically, I was just laying in my California King bed at home. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I had to go to the draft. Yeah, yeah, And, you know, I, I'm a homebody, man. Okay. You know, I, I'll, at the end of the day, I'll go watch the sunset. Mm-hmm. 
And right I'm, there on this nice beach. Yeah, I'm usually <laughs> watching sports and mm-hmm. just relaxing and just, yeah, yeah. you know, kicking Hell back yeah. being black. Hell yeah. That's it. Now, but, obviously, you've had all these crazy moments in your life before I met you in 2022. And the first one I want to talk about, this is Mickey Scales, everybody. Tony Todd. Oh. You were in Little Big League. Oh, yeah. A great baseball movie. And you have a great story to go with that on how you got the part oh. of Mickey Scales. Yeah, well, thank I think you. everyone would love to hear that. Well, there all you right. Go. There you go. Yeah. So a friend of mine, we were driving back from the trip that we attended. And, you know, we played ball at this one park in Santa Monica that we passed by. Yeah. And basically, there's 250 guys out there. Yeah, there's a Morris Chestnut. Damn, I didn't know there were that many. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Morris, Chest- Morris Chestnut from Boys in the Hood. Cuba Gooding Jr. from Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. And just a plethora amount of people. And you're just like, wow. So I get out the car to find out what's going on. So I walk over there. I see, like, uh, Andy Scheinman and Adam Scheinman and all the big executives over at Castle Rock. And I said, what's going on? They said, well, you know, we're casting a movie. Oh, really? <laughs> so my buddy drops me off at home, right? Yeah. I come back full uniform. You know, I played in college and, you know, that, you know, and these guys, they had on like, they were dressed like you. <laughs> no they, shit. No, they were just like you. So I come back. No, seriously, I come back full uniform. And then I'm like basically begging these guys. I said, hey, you think I can audition? No, 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 no. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. No, 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 no. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> And I was just like, come on, just give me a shot. Nope. So as I'm walking away, I believe it was the um, uh, Adam Scheinman or Andy Scheinman. Andy Scheinman was the director. Adam was his brother, the writer. And they said, well, can you play? And I'm not being cocky. or mm-hmm. I mean, it's just if you could see the people that are on that field, <laughs> you would be like, you're my like, mom's can better I than play? some of those guys. Oh, yeah, you're, my mom's better than some of those You're a triple crown winner at that oh, point. Oh, easily. <laughs> easily. So they said, they said, can you play? I said, well. By the looks of things, <laughs> I'm probably better than everyone you guys have out there. Right? I just might be able uh, to play. Yeah. And he said, oh, well, we've been hearing that all day. Uh, and I said, well, you just give me a shot. I'll show you. And so they had the, you know what the L screen is, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. They had it. Most people don't. They had the L screen. <laughs> you know, I don't know who your fans are, but they had the L screen up and they gave each guy, you know, five swings, you know, mm-hmm. and not five, 10, 10 swings. Okay. But it comes, comes to me, they give me five of them. Yeah. Right. They're like, we didn't even want to let you swing anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But with that group out there, I just needed one swing, I'll yeah. be honest with you. So okay. uh, So the first four went over the fence. Mm-hmm. But the fence is only like 310, so I'm not trying to brag about that. Mm. And, only 310. Yeah. <laughs> only nothing. 310. That's, that's good. That's nothing, man. Come on. Bro, that's three quarters of a major league center field. Oh, no. You're no, basically not. there. <laughs> okay. So I hit, hit the ball over the fence. Yeah. So on the last one. They told me to run the first base. Mm. And I knew everyone was watching because they're all in the field. So, But, you know, back in the day, your brother can run a little bit, mm-hmm. you know. So I just hit it off the fence, line jive. So I didn't stop it first. I ran all the way around, did a little <laughs> pop-up slide. And then they're like, hey, come here, come here, come here. What, what have you been in? I said, I never acted before in my life. And they said, well, can you come to um, uh, Castle Rock tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And I said, what's Castle Rock? They said, oh, we, we do films like a few good men where Harry met Sally and I was like yeah okay what time so my appointment was at 11 11 a.m uh I walked in there and uh, basically a room like this you have the casting director sitting on one side you're sitting on the other side and they give you you know what the sides are like part of the script yeah for mm-hmm. the movie mm-hmm. so um <laughs> so it was like six pages so I'm just like, oh, man. So I get the six pages. and That's a long read. She, yeah, that's a long read. So she said, uh, okay, I'll start off and then you'll follow. I mean, no rehearsal, no nothing. Mm-hmm. So basically, I had no training. I'm just reading it like I would read a book. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. I'm just reading a book. And she's like, um, it's all right. You can tell me it sucked, right? Yeah. She's like, no, it didn't suck. But uh, would you mind taking it home and bringing it back? You know, come yeah, back yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, study over it. Of course. It. Yeah, I looked yeah, over it. Yeah, you know, without mentioning any names, I had a buddy who was a pretty big star at the time. So I actually faxed him the sides, and uh, his words back to me were, let me tell you something. If you can't play this role, you should never try to act again in your life. <laughs> it's basically, it's, just, it's you. I'm, you know, yeah. I'm the rookie on the team. I hit the home run, win the game, and just be yourself. So we went over it a few times, and then the next day I went back, 100% better. And the casting director said, oh, that's great. So I went back again. Um, 
And she said, that's even better than the fourth time I go back. Um, Steve Nicolaitis, the executive producer, he was there. Yeah. He, he did about Boys in the Hood. And he said, hey, man, I just want to you know, tell you we really enjoy what we've seen so far and what you did out there on the field. And I heard every time you come back in, your readings get better and better. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, I'm going to have all the suits in here. You know, from Castle Rock. So yeah. next thing you know, you walk in there, it's just like, you know, navy blue, black, gray suits, right? You know, all the big wigs there. So we basically did a screen test mm -hmm. and we're reading. So I'll probably get to like page three. And, you know, because I like to play around, have fun with people. And I can hear them over there in the back bickering. I thought you guys said he can act. I thought you said that. And I'm <laughs> listening to this, right? Yeah. You're like, I'm yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I like to play around. So, But yeah. they were playing around with me as well. So I get to like page three and they told me, Oh, you can start reading now. And I'm like, oh, man, I thought I blew it, right? Mm. So the lady said, oh, you ever been to Minnesota? <laughs> I said, no, but I know Kirby Puckett's there. Yeah, I know Kirby Puckett's there. He said, oh, we just want to let you know you got the part as Mickey Scales. And, oh, oh, man. Dude. So, so I get up. I'm high-fiving everyone. They yeah. probably think, like, oh, man, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, I had like $342 in my savings account. But it, it was awesome. It was one of yeah. the best experiences ever, man. And then that's how I got into the business. Hell yeah. Beautiful, bro. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think what people love about Little Big League is it includes actual major leaguers going up against the Twins team in that movie. Names like Ken Griffey Jr., mm -hmm. Randy Johnson, yeah. Pudge Rodriguez. What was it like working with them? Oh, it was, it was unbelievable. It was surreal because, at that yeah, point. Yeah, at, at that point because, you know, these are some of the biggest names in baseball at the time, yes. right? Yeah. And, you know, you show up there and you're like, oh, man, there's that's Griff. That's mm -hmm. Randy Johnson. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing was what, you know, uh, Castle Rock did well is, you know, they cast our team. You know, they, they made sure that everyone played either college baseball or professional baseball. Because if you ever look at the footage, everything that happens with the baseball, that actually happened. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Troy Star Tony at third, Kevin Elster. At uh, Shortstop, he's playing the Dodgers at the time. I was mm -hmm. at second. Timothy Buzzfield, uh, Michael Papajohn, who played in the uh, College Baseball World Series at LSU, mm -hmm. uh, Dwayne Davis. You know, uh, so our our crew of people, uh, it, it was great, man. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, and, it was and just... that's what I love is that everybody they had in the movie can play ball. And yeah. I, for an example, I just saw a TikTok recently that Wesley Snipes in Major League could not throw. No. Terrible throwing. No. So if you watch Major League, every time he's catching a ball, he just runs it in. He yeah. never throws. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. That's that's a true that's a true story. Yes. You know, I don't like to downplay anyone mm. because he's an incredible actor. Of course. But, I mean, they could at least a good <laughs> double for him or something. I don't know. So now everyone's aware that yeah. you've been in the acting world and it didn't stop right there. No. You've also stunt acted in Black Panther. Black yeah. Panther, Wakanda Forever, mm -hmm. and Black Adam. Yeah. So what was it like working on the Black Panther sets? I mean, obviously, you got to be with Chadwick Boseman before yeah. his passing. Right. And then um, Black Panther 2 was taken over by Letitia Wright. Right. But just to be a part of those two movies, which are part of the, one of the biggest companies right now in the industry. Well, before we go on, I mean, that's a lot of blacks. Black Panther, Black Adam, <laughs> Black Panther 2. <laughs> Next movie will be Black Guy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But no, uh I, I, I have nothing, like I always tell you, Austin, I have the best mm. friends in the world. Yeah. And and I, I truly, really believe that because I grew up in Santa Monica, California. I went to, you know, Santa Monica High School. But the people I went to school with, man, they're all just, they're all doing so great. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I can just name a Liz, Rob Lowe, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Penn, Sean Penn, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, uh, uh, Hillary from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, um, you went to high school with Robert Downey Jr. You went to high school with all of them. Yeah, but hold on, let me let me finish. <laughs> hold on, Dean, hold on, Dean Kane, Superman, Yvette Lee Bowser that created the show uh, Living Singles. You're probably too young for that, but Black Living Singles, uh, Dear White People, and her son is like one of the best baseball players in the country. He plays at Stanford. His name is Drew Bowser. Yeah, he's like okay. one of the yeah. Wow. But yeah. I just uh, it it was it was very interesting. You know, going to I went to I went to junior high school with Lenny Kravitz. 
<laughs> yes, Ow. yes, yes. I went to school with Lenny Kravitz, but at the time, you know, we were all just, you know, either playing sports or just being just kids. Just yeah, fun, we didn't, just having fun. We yeah. didn't know all these people were going to blow up and mm-hmm. be just like historical. So that's incredible. Just be around like that the group yeah of yeah. just like oh hey like oh we're going to rob's party later like you're gonna go yeah like, but that's just, just it's so but that's the last thing you're, you're not even thinking that because mm. of course you know back in the day it's like everything you know that's just every, like robert in my science class back then yeah. that, that's it yeah, <laughs> yeah but you know and the athletes didn't hang out with you yeah. know, the athletes were the guys that were looked up to back in the day but getting back to like black panther man it's like you know i was sitting at, at my buddy's house and i get a text <laughs> And it was my my friend, Lisa Satriano, who actually did Thor Ragnarok, Spider-Man, Straight Outta Compton. She was the first AD on, like, all these movies. And we grew up together playing baseball together. Uh And we would have Super Bowl party at their house in high school. And um, I I, I get this text out of the blue. And I'm sitting. Actually, I was sitting with Charlie at the table. And I see this text come come by. It says, uh, Tony Todd, is this still you? And I was like, oh, so I send her a photo of myself and Ronald McDonald. <laughs> like, yeah, what's up, big time, right? She's like, oh, stop playing. I just want to know if you want to work on my um, my movie Marvel's Black Panther as a stunt actor. And I was like, you know, I don't curse them. I'm like, hell yeah, that'd be awesome, right? So she says, well, someone's going to contact you within the, uh, within the hour. Yeah. Okay, cool. Within the hour. As soon as I hung up, I say about two minutes later, <laughs> this lady from transportation calls me and says... Uh, Oh, you have a flight at 6 p.m.? Oh, my God. That? Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. day. That day. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. So I, And I was just like, and I was standing at my buddy's house, and I was like, hey, man, I got to go. And <laughs> I said, like, I got to go. He's like, yeah, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Atlanta. He's like, yeah, all right. I said, all right, well, check my room, you know, because I had to get all my stuff, take it back to Santa Monica, mm-hmm. get yeah, everything. Just look at my flight. It's right here. Yeah, get everything <laughs> in store. You know, who's going to check my mail, all that stuff. So I leave. I land in... Atlanta, like three, four in the morning, something crazy. You have to be on set at six a.m. Yeah, because we had to go to training from six a.m. to uh, six p.m. Like one oh hour my. break because we yeah. had to look the part. You know, uh, you know, I was part of the border tribe, mm. and uh, man, <laughs> you know, and all these brothers are like 22, 23, 24. Like I could be their dad, you know. Yeah, but they didn't know that because mm. you know. Nothing against the South, but the brothers do look a little, little bit older in the South. So, yeah. you know, I grew up right here on the beach. So, yeah. but it, it was, it was, it was beautiful, man. And yeah. uh, just to meet, to be, I shouldn't say this, but to be on the set when you have that many brothers on the set, two, three hundred brothers, and not one argument, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Every, this was, this was great, and it was, it was, it was an experience of a lifetime, man. I just want to thank you, Lisa. Hmm. I, I really appreciate that. Total opposite wow. of when we go to Angel Games. Oh, yeah, you go to Angel Games. I'm the only brother in, in, the, in the crowd. I'm, I'm always looking for someone that looks like me at the Angel Games, besides a worker. Yeah. Yeah. Besides a worker, man. I always yeah. get a mean usher. Always just kind of like, mm. oh, really? Like mean? Yeah, just Couple walk, walk past those guys. Yeah. All this time, me knowing you, like I said, it hasn't even been a full year yet. When we get to the All Star game this year, we'll hit a year. But um, you. And have told me so many crazy stories just from the short time I've known you. So I want to start with this right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so little, uh, show, show the people. The show little the people. big league bat. Here you go, Tony. Yeah, yeah. So Tony brought this from home today. Brought this from home. This is actually kind of cool. Yes. Uh, you don't even probably even know what this is. So, mm-hmm. Oh, it's a baseball bat. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but not just a baseball bat. It's more than a baseball bat. It's more bat. than a baseball bat. So I think it was in the 90s at some point. Mm-hmm. My buddy, William Fuller, yeah. played mm-hmm. professional f- football for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, and we were friends. Uh, so he calls me. I was in Arizona at the time, and he's like, hey, man, you want to go see uh, 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 MJ uh, perform? I mean, play? I was like, oh, yeah, I'd love to go see, you know, Michael Jackson perform, right? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, fool, not Michael Jackson. I was like, he said Michael Jordan. I was like, yeah, that'd be great, you know, because him and Mike know each other. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay, so, so we go to the game. And then... <laughs> So Michael gets two hits. I think it was his first two hits in pro baseball. And next thing you know, we get invited in the locker room. We and we get invited in the locker room after the game. And Mike, he's like, I know you from somewhere. I know you from somewhere. I was like, yeah. 
I said, you, you may know my buddy because he, 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 he met Charlie back in the day. He played, he played Charlie and his dad in a basketball game. And, yeah. and Charlie, Charlie and his dad won. <laughs> so this is back in the, you can look it up. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. So he won. He's like, no, that's not where it's from. He's like, you ever play the ball? I was like, yeah, but not at the level that you're playing at. He's like, you know, ever in a movie? I was like, yeah. I did a movie. I did a baseball movie called Little Big League. He's like, that's it. Mickey mm -hmm. Scales, right? So the club he was over there, he's like, calls the club. He always like, hey, hey, bring me a marker, right? And so brings the marker back because I was like, I'm, I'm going to ask him for that bat because I saw him yeah. get two hits. Mm -hmm. I would be cool to have something for Michael Jordan. So he ends up signing a bat, and this is Michael Jordan's game used bat right here. No. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it. We would get out. We oh, were yeah. we yeah. were lying to Mobo the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Saying Sorry, it was yeah, a bat yeah, yeah. from Little uh, Big League. Yeah. Check it out, everybody. That's a Michael Jordan game used oh, and yeah. signed yeah. bat right there. Yeah. And then when the show comes on, we'll show you the photo. Had it documented by PSA. There's a photo with Mike giving me the bat in the mm -hmm. locker room yes. back in the day. But the story goes beyond that because, you know, just after um what was that movie, that documentary they did, uh The Last Dance? Yes. So the last dance, this guy had sold some Michael Jordan shoes for like a crazy amount. I think it was like a half a million dollars or four hundred some oh, yeah. million dollars. He sold the shoes. So, and I was just like, "Wow, all right." So on social media, some kid reached out to me. He was like, "Oh, Tony, you still have that Michael Jordan game used bat, right?" And I was like, "I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. I hope I, so. I, I go look where all my bats are because I have a five or a hundred some bats in the closet, right?" Not thinking, you know, my car, I put this bat in my car, my Pontiac, my 66 GTO con a convertible, because it, it had a, it had a uh, bat rack in the back. And I just, oh, I, so, I just, so I just sat it there for years. It just sat oh, there just for like years. Just like a blade. Just, yeah, just. yeah. Because I, I never, I, you got to understand, I never would go in the trunk, because I would never drive that car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just sitting in the trunk. Yeah. Gotta, so eventually... I kept looking, I looked, and then finally mm. I found it in the trunk, man. Oh, it was yeah. just like, and Dude. people couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, sure, he left it in the trunk. I really left it in the trunk. No, I, I, so I believe it. Any, anything's yeah. possible. That's, that's Michael Jordan's game used <laughs> back right there, there man. Dude, Mind if I get a hold, beautiful. Tony? Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, that's it. Check this out, everybody. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You can yeah, see so it right here. If I turn it around, it's got his name. Yeah. It's got it all. You see the hit marks on there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, Let's see, where are they? Yeah, right, right, right there with the name. Yes, yes, right on the name. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So remind me, what position did he play in baseball? There you go. He's played outfield. He's an outfielder. Yeah. Yeah. So this, that that's kind of cool. But I have kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have like it's like a one on one, I think. Or mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure someone else has it, but mm -hmm. I'll never get rid of it. No. But oh, I have one other never, cool please, thing. Please never get rid of it. I have one other cool thing at Austin. I don't think he even knows this story. So. Nope. And you know, once the, <laughs> the podcast field, come out, I can. I can send you photos of it as well. You can maybe edit it in there because, you know, me with Mike or whatever. And yeah, so yeah. This is, this, these batting gloves right here. Okay, I have not heard this. Okay, this yeah. is a surprise to me. Derek Jeter's last World Series that he won, right? Yeah. yeah. So I have the batting gloves. Wait, Those are what? Derek Jeter's batting gloves. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. From the World Series. Yeah, the last one we played in right there. The 09 one? <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah. Tony. Yeah. Tony. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can you see Gosh. the Jeter right there? Jeter number Ooh. Jeter number two. Yeah. Right there. Wow. That's pretty cool, right? From the 09, you said? Yeah. When the last <laughs> in, when, no, the last one he played in. Okay, so yeah. Oh, yeah. 09, so, Yankees, Phillies. Derek Jeter's batting gloves. Yeah. So that, that's wow. that's kind of cool, man. Yeah. Very right cool. That, that's stellar. Waller. Top 10 things you've ever had, would you say? Top 10? Top 10 things. Or at least one of the top 10. Like far, as far as... Uh, Let's, let's say memorabilia. Memorabilia. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not that big of a collector. You know, I really. I, no, I'm not. I'm mm. not. I just uh, if, if someone like I'll never go online and try to purchase something if yeah. I don't get it directly from the athlete. So I agree. Like, huh? I agree. Yeah. Like, let's just say in a world I wanted to buy an Albert Pujols signed bat. I'm not going to spend my money. I want no. the experience right. of me having the bat, like just some old bat that I have. Then I'm yep. like, Albert Pools, can you sign this? And exactly. then signs it, and then you can tell that story instead of, yeah. I went on eBay and yeah. I hit no. click. That, <laughs> that, that will not happen. If it's not, you know, I have other things at home. I had Sammy Sosa's bat uh, that he hit at Dodger Stadium, home run, like 
He gave it to me right after the game in the locker Amazing. room. That's just, Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, you know, stuff like that. So, but yeah, I have some pre- pretty good pieces. But like you said, I would never buy anything offline. That's just me. Because yeah. I, I'd rather have the experience and know that mm-hmm. it was directly from that person. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's just getting started with the crazy world of Tony Todd. I believe I have this correct. Did you once take BP with the Nationals? Shagging, full uniform. Actually, it's the Chicago Cubs. Don't you have what's what? the picture you sent me of you and Juan Soto in the full? You're in full uniform. Oh yeah, I'm full uniform. Yeah, I, we were doing last year's us. Uh, my buddy and I, Greg Smith, we were doing last year's uh, uh, Major League Baseball commercial. Oh, that was for a commercial. Yeah, that was oh, for okay. a commercial. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. and you know, I was doubling Soto at the time. Mm-hmm. And, oh, you were his double? Yeah. Why not? Get out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'll send you the photos. Wow. Yeah, so it, it was kind of cool. But that's not, I've been a bunch of guys, Bo, Bo Jackson. I mean, go back from years ago. Bo Jackson, Griffey Jr., uh, Jerry Rice. This is just oh over the years. Oh, my God, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, so. So based on that, you took BP with the Cubs? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think I have the video. Oh, <laughs> Did you send one out? What? Did you send one out? Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not going to go out there and embarrass myself. Hey, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like Soto knew you were going to be here today as you played his double. He homered today. Oh, he did? Game, he did. Oh, there you go. You know why? <laughs> All because of me. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> so. Another one. I was so I'm getting all the stories from memory, or I went through our shared photos that we've just you know texted each other since we've known each other. Mm-hmm. My co-host over there so, is the biggest Lindor nut, probably that I know. Wow, and love Francisco Lindor. If I remember really? this, love the way you play. If I remember this just... correctly, you awarded him at the. Uh, well, I said yeah. I said yeah. at the same table, my friend Michael Thompson from Rawlings. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, and. I'm sitting here, and the door's right here. Yeah. I'm give him his gold glove. Yeah. It's awesome. I'll show yeah. you the photo. I'll, I'll share that photo with you as well if you want to edit that yes, in there. Yes. Awesome. Oh, no, we'll, we'll get that. That's yeah. going to be an out the field exclusive right there. Yeah, and he's, he's a really nice guy and so talented, man. Mm. And, you know. Oh, got that great smile. That's how yeah. he got the nickname. Yeah. 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 And he's just a and better person off the field. So, yeah. Which, which Love is to great, hear that. Man. Yeah. This one, I know I'm. Got this right. Rangers Bat Boy? Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That was actually, I, I did not want to do it, but it was actually, it was pretty cool. So <laughs> what do you mean you didn't want to do it? Anybody the, gets a chance. I know, but it. here's the story. This is the story. Okay. And and I'm not, because I hate to seem like braggadocious, but this is just the truth. It's I not mean, braggadocious. You just I, got I, a cool I, life, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. My, no, no. I, say, I, I love saying this to people. Yeah. Talk your shit. Let your nuts hang, Tony. Okay. <laughs> let oh, your nuts oh, hang. Well, they, okay. I don't know about They're that, old but. enough. They are hanging. So, uh, so my friend, my friend, Neil Leapman, uh-huh. he, he's one of the owners of the Texas Rangers. You know, so just Texas Rangers. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> just casually. So he, they, they come play the Angels. Yeah. And, um, you know, he said, oh, you should come to a game. Come to a game. So I said, yeah, I'll get to a game. So I go to a game. This is a few months later. I go to a game. And it was his brother just kept looking back at me, man. Like, uh, kept looking. I was like, man, why does this guy keep staring at me, right? Yeah. And I said, Neil, why does he keep staring? He said, oh, he wants to meet you. He said, oh, are you Mickey Scales from Little Big League? I was like, yeah, man, that was 20-something years ago. But, yeah, that's me, right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, man, you should be the bat boy with me. <laughs> I've been no bat boy, huh? man. I'm too old to be a bat boy, right? And this is a good looking uh, African American guy. He's probably in his 30s, mm-hmm. you know. And so I said, nah, nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. So Neil, later on, he, he talked to me. He's like, Tony, you should just do it. I said, well, okay, well, who are you guys? Who's your last series against? Mm. Who's your last series? It was uh, Boston Red Sox. Okay. I was like, oh, that okay. don't work. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe so. So. Bottom line, go to Texas, suit up, and I'm the bat boy. So I'm like, man, that's a lot of work. I give it up to kids that yeah. that it's a lot of work. It looks Damn. easy on television, but you know, when you get my age, man, I'm like part of AARP club. And this is like, this guy's like, <laughs> these guys were like, it's a lot of work. So it's so funny because I think I probably made history because I don't know if there's ever been two black bat boys in one game <laughs> yeah. in Major League Baseball history. Uh, so 
I asked the guy, I said, hey, okay, you run out there this time. You give him the balls, right? The <laughs> yeah. umpire, right? It's like, it's your turn. You should see the look on the umpire's face. He's just like, he's taking a dull take because, wait, wait, the, the one brother just ran out here. Wait, <laughs> now there's a different brother right there. I'm probably a shade darker, but he probably couldn't believe it. Hmm. But, yeah, no, that was thanks to uh, my friend, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was awesome. And <laughs> I have a funny story that I saw earlier this season. The ball boy for the angels was like lacking in some way. Cause the umpire, like a pass ball or a foul ball got sent back yeah. and the umpire turned around out of his position and went to go get it. And I'm like, where's the ball boy? Isn't the ball boy supposed to be getting these? Ball boy supposed to get that. And man. then like an in, like a full inning of the umpire having to go get it. I'm like, what, what is it? Hell? I'm like, what is going on? You sleep on the job. You're just looking at the game. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. It's getting, <laughs> it's getting close. But it's a lot of work, man. Yeah. No, I, it is a lot of work. To everybody. Yeah. And then you, have met Mike Trout. You met him when he was like rookie year Trout, and you have a full uniform with yeah. autograph from yeah. Mike Trout. How did that happen? Born and raised in Santa Monica, and mm. you know I know all the athletes. And if I tend to get a little bitter about this and sad, then you know I don't care. I, I'll cry on camera. I don't care. It's just you know he's this guy was a legend in our city. I mean a legend in our city, and uh, it, was, it was a guy I've been knowing. Basically, since he was born, his mom, Debbie, uh, and it, it was Tyler Skaggs. That's so, actually the next one I had after Trout was yeah. you really, really knew yeah. Tyler Skaggs. So, so wow. Tyler, I, you know, I remember watching him playing Little League, and then at high school, I came up there and coached right after he left, so he would always come back and and, 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 and talk with the kids. And he was just a great person, man, and uh, – you know, I, I really, I really, I really, I really miss Tyler because he was that guy. He's not working out at Angel Stadium. He's coming back to Santa Monica and working out, you know, around the nearest parks there, Clover Park, and his spots you know, before he made. Yeah, it. before yeah. he made it, so he would yeah. always come back. And then he was great with the kids as well, man. That, mm-hmm. that that's another thing I, I adore about him. So, and then that's basically how I met Mike, and then I found out Mike. You know, he liked the movie Little Big League as well. So a lot of things are coming from Little Big League. So I have the, the uniform. That's crazy. Everything's yeah. full yeah. circle. It's all full circle, man. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 We all miss Tyler. That was yeah. very sad for everybody. Yeah. 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 And um, next up on just your crazy life and everything, you have obviously met tons of legends. And yeah. you talked about this briefly with me a couple months ago. You shared a suite with Ricky Henderson. Sean oh. Casey. <laughs> oh, Sean Casey has it. You have to show that. It's on Sean Casey's Instagram right now. Okay. All-Star Game in San Diego. Okay. Right? In San Diego. I love San Diego. So, same here. So, I'm in yeah. the suite. It's me, Charlie, Ricky Henderson, Sean Casey, all the Fox execs. Mm-hmm. And it was epic because I told them, I said, hey, if a ball, cut, someone hits the ball up here, mm-hmm. someone's getting knocked out because I'm I will retrieve that ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, ball comes up. I jump over the Fox guy and just grab the ball. It's on video and I have it. Hell yeah. And then Sean Casey, Sean Casey talks about it on his social media. Hell yeah. So that, that actually happened, man. Hell that, yeah. that, that, that happened. <laughs> yeah. And your name is Tony Todd. We tell you all these crazy stories. You've also been dubbed the greatest softball player of all time. By Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith, what? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Ozzy Smith, Kenny Maine, and Harold Reynolds. Yes. Look out on the bench. Oh! oh! He's the greatest. Let's take a look at it one more time. In celebrity softball. Tony Todd is probably the best celebrity player I've ever played with. They gave me that title, and you know, I, I, I I'll take it. No, but I, I know I'm not the best celebrity softball, but I will take that. I've seen you know? your highlight tape from the Houston All Star Game. Yeah, shows it. Then people like because. Most people are always like, oh, there's no way. I'm honestly meeting you for the first time mm-hmm. yes. just as we're filming this. And, yeah. you know, just the fact that you're saying you played uh, in the collegiate level, right? Oh, yeah. Like that, dude, that just alone takes a lot of skill. Yeah. Yes, well, especially in baseball. And baseball. Yeah. Oh, football my. And baseball scholarship. Crazy. Too. Yeah, those softball games are great, man. It's oh, just yeah. like, I, I just love to win. If I want to do something, oh, I want to yeah. win. I want to mm-hmm. compete. And I'm gonna play hard and just give you all I got. Here's we, what I, we gotta hit like a, a regular like adult league with, with Tony. Just, <laughs> oh, just, I'll do just it. Dodger films. Huh? Hey. <laughs> oh man, I, I guarantee you it's a bomb. You're taking. Oh yeah. Here's yeah. what He's I tell everybody. taking fireball like yeah. five ten easily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the guys we play with. His fireball. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. How we uh, have all our nicknames. That's hilarious. Um, here's what I here's yeah. what I tell everybody that meets Tony for the first time after I've known him for a while now. 
anything he tells you, any story he tells you, it's true. No matter how crazy it sounds, yeah. it's true. Yeah. And for the softball games, did you only play that year in Houston? You played no. mo- you played multiple, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll send you the videos. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's just you know, I, I like to have fun, man. I like mm. to treat people the way I want to be treated. Of course, you know, and that's how you and I got so close. I didn't have to mm. do those things that I. You know, it's like, hey, Austin, I, I knew you were a big fan of the Angels. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know what? He's a big fan of Angels. Let me get this guy on the field because he was cool with me. He's a nice guy. Mm. And that would make his, you know. Oh, it, uh, and it has. Just, yeah, yeah, and I it's mean, just, I, yeah, mm. and, and I don't do it because I'm expecting something. No, I just mm. do it because you're, you're a nice person. Thank and you. we hit it off. You yeah. Know? And I, I would think that you would agree. It's just like we have fun all the time. Yeah. You know, like I just that. remember from that first day, like how we were talking about earlier, you just were amazed that this was what I do for my job. I and still then, can't believe it. And then you were like, at the end of it all, like when the night was winding down, you were like, you know what? You want to go make content? He's like, I got connects. Let's make content. Come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, seriously, I found out what he did. I was like, dude, I can help you out with that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so let's, let's, let's take it to a whole nother level. Yes. Which is, which is great. And, you know, I, That's what I, you I want to see, especially from somebody growing, somebody like just yeah. like you said, if you could, in uh, I mean, yeah, in a sense, just right down to it, like mentor somebody, but also yeah. just pay it forward is the yeah, biggest I thing do. because I do. that's like. That's what honestly I've seen just yeah. as growing up. Yeah. That's the biggest thing you got to keep doing. Yeah, and mm-hmm. when you say pay it forward, I I I learned from the best of paying it forward, and and you know I, I don't want to toot my horn, but you know my best friend is Charlie Sheen, and like, I always tell Charlie like, bro, I live ghetto rich through you, mm-hmm. uh, private jet, best hotels, and you know we would go places. He would come, you know, look at my room, and like no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, that can't, no. Nope. <laughs> Your room's got to be just like my room. He said, "If I eat steak, we all eat steak." So oh, I yeah. basically I learned oh, I learned from him, man. It's just like I've seen him yeah. change people's lives, you know, by helping them in certain ways. And, and 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 you know, people think that I met Charlie when he became a star. I met Charlie and I went to grade school together. Yeah. But people, but. They don't want to. They don't want to know that side. They just think that. Oh, they want to jump to the conclusion. Yeah, they want to jump to the conclusion. He's just a he's just a hanger owner or whatever, whatever title they say. But they Mm -hmm. don't know the truth. Exactly. Which is is great. I was like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. As long as I know the truth and Charlie knows the truth. Yeah. Our relationship started as we were kids. So, are you haters out there? It started when we were kids. Did you steal my script? Because that was literally the next question. <laughs> oh, was it really? <laughs> it was yeah. your friendship with Charlie Sheen. How did you meet? And what is the friendship still to this day? Oh, the friendship. <laughs> we, we, we talk every day. And, we, and, and the thing about it is you're probably like, what are they talking about? We talk about baseball every single day. His favorite mm-hmm. team is the Reds. And he's ecstatic right now that they're doing well. And is it. It's baseball. And, like, you know, of course, I don't have him listed in my phone just in case. I got lost my phone. I have him under an alias, but yeah, yeah, yeah. if someone found my phone and they knew the two of us was talking, they would just they'd be bored as hell. I mean, like, <laughs> these guys are like boring, you know. We're talking about home <laughs> runs. This guy did this, he did that, but Throwing it's just down stats left and right. Yeah, yeah, but it, I mean, it, it's it's an honor to be friends with a person like that because, I mean, he, his he has the heart. That's oh man, he, he has the biggest heart, and he'll tell you, you know, I've been knowing him you know, my entire life and. I've never once, and he'll tell you this, I've never once asked him for a cent. Never once asked Charlie for a penny because yeah. I don't need it. I have my own, I have, I, you know, I have my own stuff. And mm. even if I didn't, I would never ask him. Yeah. You know, I would just work to get what I want. So Hell yeah. Everybody watching, being baseball fans, obviously you know Charlie as Wild Thing, Major League. I think that's so awesome that you two have both been in some of the biggest baseball movies that have That's incredible. Happened. Are you kidding me? Childhood yeah. friends just on set, yeah, yeah. just taking it in, just... Well, yeah, we and, it, and it's like, <laughs> we made that's, it. that's, you know, they always ask people, what's your favorite baseball movie? My favorite baseball movie is Major League. Yeah. You know, yeah. I just, you know, there's so many just great... It's great, great. I mean, like when Wesley Snipes was sleeping, he wakes up all of a sudden. He easily has the best comedy huh? out of all the baseball movies. Oh, yeah. Movies. Shit, yeah. I'm late. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I've been cut already? No, no, yeah. no, I've been cut already? That was a lie. I was just like, this is awesome. Yeah, then, yeah. You know, what, league you, what league you're from? California, Pino. That was Charlie, one of Charlie's lines. <laughs> like, just incredible. Yeah, and yeah. Tony was nice enough in this time that we've known each other to where he gifted me these wild thing glasses with Charlie's signature on him 
So I'm going to rock these for the rest of the oh, that's podcast nice. moving that's forward. Nice. Let me that's see them nice. real quick. How do we look? <laughs> oh, it looks nice. so fire. Yeah. Hopefully I don't break any cutouts heads off. Yeah, I think I'll be good. That's nice. <laughs> but no, he's over the years, man, he's been such a great friend. And, and you know, even mm-hmm. when I was coaching at the high school, Santa Monica from 2011 to 2016 or something like that, I would always have my schedule around because that's when I was on the show with him, Anger Management. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was playing the, the the sheriff on the show, so they would schedule all my scenes, you know, before, accordingly to according. Uh, I had to leave every day like one o'clock because I had to be at practice at two. So mm-hmm. that's kind of cool. That's the kind of friend. That's the kind of friend yeah. he is, man. So. And I think a lot of people don't know Charlie can swing it. Oh yeah, you send me that video. Charlie was hitting oh, yeah. nukes. I, I, I'm telling you. Every like I said, you guys. Every time I'm everything I'm saying here on camera, mm-hmm. if Austin if he puts it in if, if, on this podcast, so they can just see a glimpse of it, and you'll you'll be shocked. Not only yeah do I tell you what he says is the truth, but he almost every single time has proof. proof. Of course, <laughs> video, That's the photo. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. need to have the footage. You, you have to have the yeah. footage. You know, yeah, like, exactly. I, I tell people, I think who was a Dodgers GM at the time? I mean, owner. McCourt, McCourt. Mm-hmm. So back in, I think it was 07 maybe or 08, yeah. they did a uh, direct TV commercial. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlie did. Yeah. So, and it's like that movie, you know, White Man Can't Jump, where they got the, the white guy and everyone <laughs> yeah. thinks he can play, but he can ball. Yeah. Right? You know, Woody I Harrelson. said, it'd be, I would love to go on tour and someone bet me that Charlie couldn't hit it out of a certain part, right? Yeah. So at, at, at lunchtime, I had convinced the uh, McCourt, the owners, and the security guy there to let us take some batting practice. And I say, hey, you let's take some BP. Charlie hit it out. I guarantee you. <laughs> you know, you start talking, there's no way he's hitting it out of Dodge Stadium. <laughs> right center field, like four, five, six rows up. Bingo. And it's on video. Hell yeah. It, it's on video. Dude, oh, yeah. I gotta watch it. 90, 90, baby. Feels even better. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right on. Thank you. Yeah. But, thank you. The, the, but the thing is, no, we need him in here. This is the guy that said, there's no way he can hit. Right. And I kept telling us, dude, we do this on a regular. We just, we have taken off three months, right? Yeah, man. He has not hit in uh, three months. Because of weather. Because of weather. Yes. Yeah, we were in Minnesota for a while. <laughs> and uh, he came out. Come on, dude. Give, give him his. I, come I, on, I Eddie. I gotta say this. I really didn't think he would do it. Bingo. That's my man right there, baby. It's Tony Todd reporting from Dodger Stadium. Peace, my baby. I found this out not too long ago, too. Charlie bought out all of the seats in Angel Stadium uh, yes. years ago yeah. trying to catch a home run. Yeah. And you were there, right? But the funny story is, the funny part is, it didn't happen that day. It was the next day. That's when the ball, it Same happened. Section. Same he section. He didn't get a homer what? when he Did bought them all out. Homer. Did not get a homer. The next day... The guy hit the homer. I think it was Cecil Fielder, I believe it was. He was uh, trying to get the homer from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mobo, I wrote in the notes there. This yeah. is something I want you to take. So why don't you uh, ask this? Oh, yeah. So as everybody knows, I love cars. I mean, getting down to it. Tony has had a just, honestly, I would just say even a bitching lineup of cars. Yeah. Uh, what, what car? What, I'm just curious. What was your first car ever? First car ever was a 1973 Volkswagen Bug. Yeah, and I, and I, and I got ripped <laughs> off, bro. No, I just the other day I was cleaning stuff out because I like to keep stuff, but I keep it and you know I keep it fairly neat. And man, you should have seen the interest rate on that thing, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness! But I saved my money because I don't like to. I, I don't like to owe people. I'm yeah. honest with you. But at a certain age, you do have to establish your credit and keep your credit going. So I don't know what. How old I was at the time, but I went to Santa Monica Volkswagen. I said, I saw, it was just clean. It was a cherry red, 73 bug, black interior. And I said, I want that car. Yeah. And I think that dude saw me coming from, from Orange County. Because he was like, <laughs> I looked at that interest rate, but I bought it. Yeah. But then again, a, a year later, I just paid it off. So but so I've had that, 73. Um, then after that, I got a, remember the old 318i? BMW. Oh yeah, I got that. And then after the three eight, after the three eighteen i, I got a nineteen ninety e thirty uh, BMW. And I've had it. I've had. I just recently sold it. I had it for thirty years. I just recently sold it last year, and it was just 
Cherry. Now, can you tell what? the people? Because I, I want them to know. I know a lot of people talk shit yeah. on a lot of European cars, but if you if you just keep it right, the car yeah. will never fail you. I it bought. Will. I'll tell you this right now. I bought a five series Lemon. Oh. I dude. The engine was grenaded, still yeah. ran for two years. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> still, no, I mean, yeah. seriously, like, still, ra- he was he, in it too. It was just, da, 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 yeah. da, da. it was just rattiest car, but it will never leave you stranded. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you would have known me back then, because my buddy, Mike McCaffrey, what's up, Mike? <laughs> Best mm-hmm. mechanic in the world. And I, I, and I tell this story all the time. I was like, Mike, I went to go visit Mike one day at work, and we were young, man. I was like, I see this engine just like sitting over there. I was like, Mike, what's going on here? Oh, I'm ready to put that back. And I was like, put it back where? Oh, inside the compartment. And do what with it? Oh, I'm just going to put it back together. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I was just like, that's my mechanic right there, yeah. man. So, so yeah, I had that. Uh, I just recently got rid of that car and then. And let me see what else I've had. I've had. What about you? Mentioned the, the car GTO, from, right? Oh, I had. I had. This is the best story ever, man. Oh, uh, this wait. TV show called Overhauling. They steal your car, but you don't know your car's gone. You know, so oh, that's the premise. That's the premise. Yeah, yeah. they steal your oh, car. Oh, I, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, they, yeah, you guys watch the show. They steal your car, <laughs> and uh, you get a phone call. You like calling the police? Hey, no, I don't know where the car is. I don't know where it is. And next thing you know, a week later, it's like, oh, you know, like for instance, when my car was stolen, it was Charlie. He's like, oh, Tony, uh, I got this PI because they know that you're gonna reach out to someone. So. All my buddies were in on it. So I called him and I said, hey, man, they stole my car. And he's like, he's just going along with it. Oh, really? Uh, what happened? I was like, I don't know. I came back. Uh, I was going to sell the car. And they stole it out of my mom's backyard. And it's gone. He's like, so about four days later, Charlie's like, hey, meet me where the car was stolen. I got this PI, blah, blah, blah. He can we're going to figure this thing out. Yeah, he can help us out. Oh, he sold it perfectly. <laughs> oh, <it's> perfectly. <laughs> Next thing you know, I get there, and all I see is the mirror of my car just gone, right? <laughs> and he's like, oh, and he gives me this long speech, you know. It's like, well, you know, and... and you know, we live in Hollywood and blah, 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 blah. Shit the next, and then Yeah, and the next thing you know, he tells me, oh, you're on overhauling. And I was just like, oh, and I know this. I knew about the show. The show, mm. I've, I love this show. Because the guy, Chip Foose... His work is impeccable. He's the best designer in the world. Yeah. Chip Foos and it's overhauling and and the paint job that my friend Mitch Lanzini put on that thing, man, it's just now I want to get to all the stories we've shared together since we've met. Oh yeah. So obviously we've gone to tons of Angel games. Mm-hmm. Thanks to you. We've been on the field. We've met tons of players. Just uh I want to get started with a few. I mean, Scott Boris, not a player, but Best agent you can have in baseball. Legendary yes. name in the business. Yes. Like, yes. What? yes. The best. How, how'd you even meet him? The best. Well, my my buddy, uh, Alex Ochoa, mm. uh, played for the Angels, Milwaukee Brewers. He played on the Angels when they won the World Series. 2002. Yeah, and he represented, he represented Alex. So Alex introduced me to Scott. This was years ago. But even better than that, you know, so Scott and I have be, become friends. And then... From that relationship, Scott introduced me to, I, I love these people, and you met them as well, and they mm. treat us like they're oh, we're yes. family. It's yes. uh, Sharon and Joe Hernandez from Melissa's Produce. Mm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, man. It's just like, now, if they wanted to start their own YouTube channel, you know how well that would oh, do. Oh, my God. Oh, like, my goodness. We just get invited to some of the like crazy events. They get to yeah. go every single time. Every the, night yeah. they go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Every Always night. Me. I thanked Wait. her. She sent me, uh, Sharon sent me a box of four boxes of food. I only asked for one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For a video I did, yeah. vlog, cooking. And um, I told her, thank you. The video's up. And she's like, oh, yeah. Uh, we just landed in Dubai. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, and they are the nicest people and mm-hmm. so generous. Yes. You know, and they're... I, Sharon and Joe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then I also mentioned players. I would, I'm just going to run through my Instagram. I'm just going to name them off who we've met on the field. <laughs> so we've got Luis Ringifo, Luis Arias, mm-hmm. Andrew Velasquez, Squid, who's also very close with Tony. Yeah. I love Squid. You, you know, yeah. That's the best. You met him doing a workout at UCLA, correct? Yeah. Squid and I met. Uh, two two years ago, working out at UCLA, but it was mm. Chris Taylor, Squid, you know, uh, 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 Rent. Uh, was was uh, Joe Ryan there? Oh, Joe Ryan. Oh yeah, yeah Joe yeah. Ryan. I mean, just a bunch of guys. Um, 
And the list goes on and on. Yeah. It's just like... I said Joe Ryan because he was next on this. Yeah. Uh, Joe Adele. Joe Adele. Uh, here, here's another one. Jared Walsh, Taylor yeah. Ward, yeah. Reed Detmers, yeah. Brandon Marsh. So yeah. you just know half Stassi, of Stassi, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah. good yeah. hold on. Yeah. Marcus Simeon, who... Yeah. Genius. Cal Berkeley. Cal Berkeley. Yeah, Gen- yeah. Yes. and a great guy. If you ever meet him, he is an unbelievable uh, human being. Mm. Uh, Mark Gubiza, we see, that's the Angels announcer. We yeah. see him almost every time. Yeah. I've had, I've made some good memories with him chatting yeah. down there on the field. Yeah, Dominic Smith. Dominic Smith, yes, yeah. just recently this year. Yeah, I think that's all I have here on my Instagram. Did you say Lucas Giolito already? That was okay. There we go. That's a, something to talk about. That's BBG at the event. BBG event, Baseball Generations, okay. ran by Tim Revere. Yeah, and uh, we met Lucas Giolito there. We Jazz. Jack Flaherty, Jazz Chisholm, mm-hmm. yeah. um, and that is also a great event that yes. Tim puts on. It's basically I could compare it to Perfect Game. It's a showcase exactly. for yeah. talent coming up in yeah. the baseball world, and we're talking like early. We're talking like sixth graders. Yeah, <laughs> and those guys. Yeah, and those guys. I mean, Tim. Tim, Dominique, uh, Ron. Uh, 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 Ron Miller, mm. and and uh, uh, come on, why am I drawing a blank? Say <laughs> all Mariners, JP Crawford, oh, JP, yes, yes, all those yes, guys, yes. they all they're buddies. They grew up mm-hmm. together, playing together, and they yeah. they started this organization, man, mm. and it's fantastic. Yes, it is fantastic, and they do they do such a superb job, man. I, 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 I you know, those guys. You know, and, and the players that they bring out to the game. I mean, these are like first rounders. These are oh, guys yeah. that's going in the first round. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the guys I named were just the guys that were already at the MLB level and that I saw that year. From the previous years, I've seen Marcus Stroman's been there before. Oh, yeah. yeah. And just plenty of other major leaguers and guys to keep an eye out for yeah. that could be on your radar yeah. come like three or four years. Ralphie Velasquez. Oh yeah. He yeah. just homered at the one we went to yep. and yep. Uh, followed him that day. And he watches the softball games. He did not, oh, he, yeah. he didn't, he did not yeah. say anything until uh, like the last inning of the game. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> hey, so if you guys have kids, young kids, I don't care mm. what age they are. It can be one. Get him mm. to the BBG yes. Academy. I'm telling you. Yeah, he and the funny thing about I'm sorry to cut you off. You're good, you're good. Funny thing about Lucas Giolito. He's from Santa Monica. Yes. He really? was, yeah. Born and raised in Santa Monica. But I have the I videotape his first no hitter that he pitched in high school at Harvard Westlake. Mm. I wow. went to the game with his dad, Rick. True story. We can look it up. And at first pitch, I say, Oh, Rick, this might be special. I'm gonna have to get my camera out. And sure enough, he throws a no hitter. But my commentary was like, I was so pumped, it was like it was my kid. Got him. Got no, him. What I love <laughs> it is you're saying all that yeah. before the pitch is even out of the oh, hand. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was just no. When some people are electric. Oh, he's electric. Oh he was God, electric, dude. and he was electric. Mm. You know, at, at the little league. I mean, you look at his body. He can just. Oh, he was blessed with a strong arm, mm. and it's just. To see kids like that and the nicest guy, man, and his dad is the nicest, and his mom is like an incredible artist. Also, from being able to go on the field at Angel Games so many times, that's allowed me to be able to get autographs from some of my favorite players. And yeah. this year, I got an autograph of Mike Trout, and you got an autograph on a Tops Now card of Shohei Otani striking out Mike Trout at the WBC. Yes. Got Trout's auto, and yeah. what's your plan? For the hey, rest of that, my plan, so my plan, and that's one on one right now. That, I keep checking to see if anyone has that. My plan is, if, if I get Otani's signature on that card, oh, it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. No, a, that's the greatest thing ever. That's the greatest yeah. thing for me, for my eyes, because you know that's why I hope he stays with the Angel. I mean, that's a little <laughs> selfish of me, but I hope he stays with the Angel. You're like, if it doesn't they never happen, have to face each other. If again. it doesn't yeah. happen this year, then you got all that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like that's inc- you know because he's. My favorite player. Yes. As of right right now. I think it's a time. lot of people. <laughs> I think like if it's not faces of like specific franchises, it has to be because who else is doing it? Nobody. No one. one. No one. Look, no, no one's doing it, and I don't think no one's gonna do gonna it for do a it long for time. For a long time, mm, especially no they may do it, but not at that level. No. Nah. Oh, without that, a doubt, that's like, not at mm. that level. One you of know. my favorite memories we've shared from the games we went to Angel Games specifically was Angels Yankees last year. We were sitting second row behind the Yankees dugout. Judge is chasing 62, and we were lucky enough to be there to see him hit 50 mm-hmm. right in front of us. Yep. And not only did he do that, 
two rows in front of our eyes. Yeah. Matt Vaskersian was announcing that day. I love Matty B. <laughs> you you were on the phone with them just texting, and you said, "Hey, uh, so you're doing today's game?" He's like, "Yeah, come on up to the booth." So we go up, and yep. it's between innings, and we get to go in the booth where Matt Vaskersian yeah. is announcing the game with, I believe, it was That's John so Smoltz was there that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they were doing their thing, and then one of the <laughs> audio guys, one of the producers, says to Tony. Otani's homering. Yes. He's like, yes, next he I bet. Next I bet. Otani comes up. We're still in the booth. Otani, automatic. Yeah. And just no Matty doubt. V just screams. Oh, yeah. No Let's doubt. Rip. And Matty oh, V's yeah. the best, man. He's, oh, yeah. he's, a, he's a great you, guy. As man. soon as I heard that he was our announcer, I was livid. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. This is yeah. the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. You just hear the Santa Maria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you hear. Santa. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, good. so, yeah, me and Tony are going to Angels Dodgers tomorrow. So, yeah. be looking for a vlog of that. And there's also going to be a vlog from my birthday. And I planned this two months ago. I actually didn't even know about the Angels playing the Dodgers on my birthday. Mm-hmm. I had no clue. My friend Art, who you've met yep. like one or two times. I thought, I thought Art was him. Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> for all the fans, like Tony, the Tony's yeah. still trying to figure out Art, yeah. Shortsy, and Mobo. We got yeah. a big ass head. That's all. Don't worry. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, I was like, okay, I don't really know his friends or his name, but they're all cool guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. We went to the national championship game, which is basically, if you don't know, the Super Bowl of college football. Yes. And oh my God! Yeah. You guys had like a full on party. Wait, wait, right? this wait! Hold on, hold on. Thanks to thanks again, mm. Melissa and Joe. Produce. Yes, Joe and Sharon Hernandez. Yeah, 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 you yeah. finished now. Yes, yes. So I'm Pro. chilling at home. This is how it always goes with Tony. Yeah. I'm chilling yeah. at home. Get, see Tony Todd. I'm like, well, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Tony calls, then <laughs> you answer. Yeah. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, how would you like to go to the national championship? And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's like not only that we're gonna be in a suite yeah. and uh, I'm like what? yeah <laughs> and, for, and for being in that bon, suite bon. we're gonna hook up Joe and Sharon from Melissa's Produce mm. because without them it does not happen yeah so, yeah. We, talk, so we might as well document this we, give them some pup we talked to great. Sharon a little bit we interviewed yeah. her on how Melissa's became a thing and everything Damn, and then uh, we showed all the stuff in the suite with Melissa's and we went to the biggest blowout ever yeah. <laughs> in college uh, national championship history, Georgia basically just turned TCU to dust. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, he's right. He's right. Yeah. But it was a great time. Tell oh him about the god. food. Oh my god. Oh, the uh, food unlimited. must have been just oh, delectable. Unlimited. It's, it's unlimited. Full, full buffet, whatever you want. And yeah. you know, ain't no hometown buffet. This food ain't just pulled off like Man, I'm the dumpster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is like, it has chefs at every station. Yeah. Like, Don't tell me they had an omelet bar. No, they probably did. No omelets. For sure had an omelet bar. Yeah, but shrimp, not, only, not, oh, only, oh, oh, bar. not only is your room packed, not only is your room packed, you go Go out and it's an entire lobby, like a restaurant buffet yes. of whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, we've had crazy times together. You've had tons of crazy experiences in your life. And um, that's wrapping it up right now. This is Tony Todd, everybody. Thank you. Yes. But we forgot something. What we forget? What I say got? we oh, that's open right. up some tops. That's right. 2023 Series 1 cards. Sweet, oh, sweet. We'll series just ones. all... We'll just talk about if oh, we get yeah. someone interesting. If you guys get something good, it comes back to me, though. Okay. There you go. That's the deal. <laughs> so, all right. Now, all this right. can be on a d- different. Uh, you oh, know. no. We can end with this. We can do this. We yeah. can open these. There you go. And uh, so, yes. Nice. It's uh, yeah. 2023 Top Series yeah. 1. Julio Rodriguez. Yeah. Thanks, Great David company. Real. My buddy Tops didn't even send me this. My buddy David Real, who used to work for Tops. Yeah. He sent these to me. All right. Yeah. Eric Lauer, pitcher for the Brewers. Oh, I miss him. Brandon Marsh. Oh, oh really? man. Second card in. Max Scherzer. Dog. Really? Uh, who we got here? Cal Mitchell. Okay. Nice. Rookie card. Nice. Sonny Gray killing it this year. Oh, Sonny Gray is the man. Oh, oh he's got- the man. Then we have Yohan Duran. This dude throws heat. Yes. Love it. Love Th- your Three twins in a row. Max Kepler right okay. after the head. Okay. It's because they know Tony's here. He, yeah. he, the little big league vibes are happening yeah, right now. That was a surprise for him. I just saw something in here. We got AJ Minter. We got a backwards card. And I know from pack openings, sometimes that can mean something. Let's oh, see. really? 
Let's see. Ooh. What? Got like a chrome Brandon Crawford. Is, it, is oh. he good? Check that out. Brandon Crawford, yeah, he's solid. He's a World Series champion. He was a part okay. of the he was a part of the 2010, 12, okay. 14 Giants. Well, sit that down because that's oh, gonna go right to me. Tony, you gave me the right pack, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. The right pack going right back to oh, me. Oh man, we, we got the man. <laughs> Mike Trout. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you keep that right is. there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's it say? Yeah. It's a stars of the MLB. You got that right. Yeah. Then we got Dodger, the guy me and Tony are going to see tomorrow, Clayton Kershaw. That's what I'm right talking on. about. Uh, Andrew Benintendi, no longer a Yankee. Yeah. Currently on the White Sox. Christian Javier, mm-hmm. no hitter in the World Series. No biggie. Then uh, Tommy Pham, upside down. We're back to Eric Lauer. That's okay. what you got, Tony. Start, <laughs> All right, let's go to me. I have Antonio Zatella. From nice. the Colorado Rockies, Scott Barlow, mm-hmm. Kansas City, John Birdie. All right, oh, he is nice. he is fast as hell. Okay, John Birdie. he can run. Low. Okay, now we got now we're mm. talking. We got a California guy, one of my favorite players, and just a great human. Mm. Mr. Hunter Green is in the house. There nice. you go, Hunter. Having a great year too. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great family. His dad's awesome. Okay, you know I'm a Dodger fan, so if anyone wants this. <laughs> Padre <laughs> card of Trent. What's his name? Grisham? Grisham? Grisham. Oh, man. Dodger fans oh, hate Dodger fans? Trent Grisham. Oh, they hate him? I, every Dodger fan I know can't stand him. Okay, there you go. <laughs> this guy's great. But I kind of gave him the name of Wonder Bread because if he falls down, it's not good. Byron Buxton. Great oh. guy. But we need you in the lineup, man. I love you, bro. <laughs> and this guy, he just keeps doing it. He just keeps doing it, man. He just he looks dollar. like a little Viking stove. But he can actually play. Jose Ramirez. Had his first three-homer game yeah. earlier this year. And wow, this guy is definitely going to be one of the biggest stars in baseball. Oh, I know somebody who he loves and that this is man. Just Bobby Witt. Mm-hmm. Oh, right? I already yeah. know. We already know. Yeah. You Our already know? If, if you watch the softball videos, you know Captain America loves Bobby Witt. Okay. He's obsessed well, one with day Bobby we'll get into the softball videos. But, and this guy, everyone loves this guy. And, and the guy next to me. It's not the guy you're thinking of, but oh. he loves him more than anyone. No, I think he... <laughs> it's Mr. Francisco Lindor. Oh, Mr. Smile, baby. Yeah, look at... Oh, that's a nice car. Dude. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, fire. Well, I'm going to gift that to you because I know you Thank really you. Like it. Tyler Molly? T- yeah, Tyler Molly. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Tyler? That's it. John Gray. Mm, I remember go. he was a free agent. I was hoping he'd come to the, the Angels. Yeah. Wanda Franco? Oh, Wander Franco. Oh, Wander. Ooh. Wonderful. That's not his rookie card, though. <laughs> no, I think he got hurt his rookie yeah. year, so if I remember correctly. Doing. Pasquatino, rookie card. You got to do the, he's Italian, you got to do the. Oh, the. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Daza. Yeah, there you go. Fed, Eric, Fede? Eric Fede, I think. Is it Fede? Fede? I think it's Fede. It's Eric, he has a card. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, the baseball player. Yeah. <laughs> then we got, oh, we got this guy, Jose Altuve. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. And <laughs> we have Christian Vasquez, another Astro. Former. And then we yeah. got a nice, oh, look, another twin, Gary Sanchez. Well, Dylan there Bundy, it makes me think of the twins, too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Trevor Larnard. Yeah. Larnack. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then we got A, stars of the MLB, Freddie Freeman. Mm, Look at that. Is. Atlanta oh, or LA? i that one to you. Oh, nice. It's Dodger. Nice, nice Freddie. And then we have All right. Adley Rutschman, Ooh. which this one's backwards, so let's find out. Ooh. Looks nice. And we have Christian Yelich oh, right over yeah. here. California oh, yeah, boy. California. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. You can hand me that. Oh, that's all you? <laughs> yeah, he's a great that's guy. That's all What's you, up, man. Christian? Yeah. Reese Hoskins on yeah. the Philadelphia Phillies. Hey, uh-huh. need a speedy recovery from Reese. Yeah. 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 Rough injury. And to finish it off, rookie card, Jeter Downs. Yeah, I know the viewers on my channel. I know you guys miss huh? pack openings. So maybe, should... maybe we should do that. I'll reach out to Tops and, you know. That'd be fun. See if they can send us some cards. If not, yeah. you know. Uh, We'll, we'll, just we'll find a way. something else. We'll find a way. <laughs> we'll yeah, find yeah. a way. We'll All see right. more. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Tony, thank you for joining us. No, thank you guys thank for you having me, too. man. It was a pleasure, man. This, this is great. This is my most interesting man in the world right here. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, Tony Todd 32 baby that's on Instagram you can follow him there it'll be in the description as well as mine right and Mobo's like the video subscribe share it with your friends and family and anybody you see walking down the street come on just tell, tell them. them off the field podcast Thursdays 2 p.m. audio Spotify Fridays on YouTube at 2 p.m. ladies and gentlemen don't be late set the notifications smash the like button mm-hmm. and we will see you in episode 23 later
And that we're done. Awesome. That was good, y'all. That was cool. Yeah. It's just sitting around just talking. Yeah. yeah.